Helen is passionate about our local public schools. She's passionate about affordable housing. She's passionate about small business and making sure they have the opportunities that they need. She's passionate about just day-to-day -day people on the street issues. She's someone you can talk to. She's someone who listens. She's someone who's gonna fight for the person on the street. I grew up in a blue collar suburb of Detroit. My father was a community librarian and my mother was studying to get her doctorate. Um, and then she became a teacher at the local community college. Our parents raised us to be hardworking, to be compassionate, and to believe in our community. My husband and I have raised our two now teenage daughters and I feel at home here on the Upper West Side. She's extremely active in the community. She um, wants to make sure that the kids have a really good school to go to. She also uh, is extremely active in the neighborhood as far as making sure that the community members within it are taken care of. She cares, she's smart, and I think she uses all of that to make sure that the community that we live in is the best that it can be. Helen is the quintessential Upper West Sider, someone who knows all her neighbors, that makes an effort to reach out and speak to all different types of people. She treasures a diverse community. She treasures a community where people are active and their voices are heard and they feel like they have input. Helen sees herself as a, as a vehicle for uh, making everyone in the Upper West Side feel comfortable and that they belong. Helen fights for the little people. She fights for people of color. She fights for public education. She fights for affordable housing. She fights for people who are not getting a fair deal. As a member of Community Board 7, you know, for over a decade, I've been able to get engaged in a myriad of issues. We can be helping people in ways large and small and making life just a little bit easier. Government's job is to ease the burden of people so they can make their lives and their children's lives just a little bit better. I spent seven years in the city's budget office helping to make our city's policy under three different mayoralties. And we were there under the toughest economic circumstances, just going into a recession. And even during those times, there are opportunities to spend money in a way that makes sense. We were able to fund primary health care centers in low-income communities. We made sure that there were school health nurses. We made sure that child health stations stayed open, that our children had access to dental clinics. She has that fire, you know, where you believe in something and you're passionate about it and you really want to get it, you want to get a job done. We could depend upon her because she was someone who really always came through for us. And she really is not afraid to speak truth to power. We can count on Helen to fight in the very same way that Lonnie Eldridge, Ruth Messenger, Gail Brewer. We can count on her to live up to that tradition. We have gotten great results, you know, by using the numbers that helped us get a new public school. By speaking out and gathering our strength, that helped us save a mom and pop store. By doing a strategic analysis, working with a landlord, that helped us save affordable housing. There are all sorts of ways, but working with people, working together, and being smart about it we can get some really good things done on the Upper West Side.